Operation 400 in full effect. So we get a ton of tra- questions here. So today we're going to address two-a-day training. First off, let's go with the disclaimer and give our hats off to Tom. Tom has worked his ass off, and and, 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 in spite, and because of this, Tom is able to train twice a day. I, we realize a lot of people cannot train twice a day. That's how the 50 cube program is. So why is it twice a day? Why is Tom's training twice a day? Um, so this, if you can't train twice a day, you can listen for the knowledge bomb here or, or not watch the video, but that's what we're going to address today. And you got to realize no one's given Tom a damn thing. He has worked so hard in his business and everything he's done to be able to make this happen. Okay. So when you, like I said before, when you buy the 50 cube program, you're helping support make this happen. And we want to thank you for the overwhelmingly positive response so far. Back in the day, Arnold, Dave Draper, those dudes, they used to work out like four hours at a time, right? So, you know, the, the obvious, there's the one side, if you break the workout into two shorter ones, you get a more favorable anabolic hormonal response. That's not a, such a huge difference that it would be like worth turning your upside down for probably. So, um, there is pretty interesting though. There was one study like 2015, 2016, something like that. In the European Journal of Applied Physiology, compared the effect of twice a day training on a variety of strength and power variables in both recreational athletes and elite weightlifters. The twice a day training was um, the same workout separated by a six hour rest. You know, so the people in the study performed 10, 10 singles with two minutes rest between repetitions of the front squat with 90% of their one. Rep max for both training sessions. Okay, so here's where we're coming. The weightlifters demonstrate a significantly greater ability to generate and sustain peak force during both sessions compared to the recreational trainees. So there, there you go right there. So it's going to be more geared towards, like I said, advanced lifters. In the disclaimer of not this ain't program ain't for everybody in 50 cube, okay? Um, the weightlifters um, had... Um, an insignificant decline ability to generate peak force from the first to last repetition of the first training session, where the recreational group had a, had a substantial 20% drop from the first to last rep. Okay, so that's again like again showing your higher work capacity there, if, if you know for for an advanced lifter. But very interesting, you know. So very interesting. There is the weightlifters began the um, the second training session, so they did the first training, the second session by producing greater peak force at any time than during the first session. And they also had an insignificant decline in peak force by the final rep of the second session, where the um, the recreational group had a significant drop in peak force generation for all lifts in the second session. So that's what we've talked about before, these kind of like potentiation things. So that first session is potentiating that second session. You know, so that's for advanced lifters though. So, you know... There's no, you know, there's no point, you know, of going out and buying a Rolls Royce if you can't ride a damn bike. So that's why this is for advanced lifters. So the double two-a-day sessions, um, besides the hormonal response, which I personally think is great, but not super, it, it increases neuromuscular, it's like neuromuscular function. So it's a potentiation, leads to greater motor unit synchronization. Um, so it enables your central nervous system um, to to basically work together, coactivate numerous muscle groups to produce the greatest amounts of force without fatiguing. And this only happens when you got a high ass work capacity. You don't. Um, so to get the most out of this, you need to ease into it. Um, you don't want to just start off guns a blazing. Um, you can you know there's all sorts of ways work out heavy and we have it laid out for you in 50 cube. But if you just want to like. We'll cover this again. We work out heavy, you know, explosive in the morning, strength at night, you know, strength in the morning, have perch feet at night. There's so many different ways to go about it, and we will touch on this later. Thank you for the support. Click on the link in the bio to get your copy of the 50 Cubed program.